Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Metronic. In this video, we'll be talking about Metronic's SAS framework and how, uh, how the file structure works within SAS and how you can go about customizing it, how you can modify the variables and so on and so forth. So let's get right into it. So first thing we need to do, same case, we need to purchase and download Metronic. And once it's done, uh, you can unzip it and it looks something like this. Then now you have just go ahead and run your yarn and your gulp and also open up the Metronic um, folder with your ID of choice. So in this case, we're using Visual Studio Code. So let's go right into our HTML and go into demo one uh, because demo one is what, what we're going to use to showcase this video. And we go into source and go to SAS and this is the main SAS folder where you will go about on customizing certain um, look and feel within Metronic to fit your project. So in the SAS, we have a, uh, two main um, files, which is our style and init. The init SAS is mainly to import certain things like our mixins, our functions, uh, bootstrap mix, uh, bootstraps mixins, uh, global variables, uh, third party plugins and uh, third party plugin variables and also any team layout variables. So Metronic, we, we have a few things that we can segment with using the SAS structure. We have our um, our components, which is the Metronic main components. And then we have bootstrap components, which is part of the third party plugins. And also what we also have is we have a layout um, uh, SAS that controls the layout of each demo. So I'll go through it one by one on what each of these mean. So in, this, in the SAS folder, we have um, like a, a few folders here. The base folder is where we have our functions and mixins. We don't really need to um, worry much about this, but what this does is, is if you understand how SAS works, these are just uh, SAS functions and SAS mixins that Metronic uses to create uh, the look and feel of Metronic. And then we have our components. Our components are smaller, smaller like elements or segments of design or code that Medtronic uses to represent something. So a component will be like an accordion or an alert, a bullet, or maybe buttons like this. And all these are all uh, custom made uh, styles specifically made for Medtronic. It um, overrides the default uh, bootstrap styles so that it will make sure that it will fit the look and feel of Metronic. So if you are looking to maybe update or change the things within like uh, a component, like you say you want to have the buttons to um, perhaps have a, a specific shape that maybe Metronic doesn't have, for example, what Metronic already has a square shape, a pale shape, and rounded edges uh, shape. Maybe you want it to be something different, like you want it to be uh, maybe a triangular type uh, design, then this is somewhere that you can edit. So all these are all of our uh, components uh, stylings. And in here, we have these three main variable files. So a bootstrap variable file is basically um, the global variables that Medtronic injects or overrides. So all these variables are what we use to override the default bootstrap variables. So we have our gray colors that we actually um, change. And then what we also have is uh, primary colors, secondary colors, uh, success colors, info colors, warning, and so on. Um, what we do with Metronic is we extended bootstrap color schemes to have more states. So by default, uh, Bootstrap will probably only have just a single color like primary, success, uh, info, warning, danger, and so on. But with Metronic, we have a few different states. We have the hover state, a light state, and inverse state. So all these are additional custom variables that we've created to make sure that everything just fits nicely. 
variables, uh, custom variables are our own Medtronic custom variables that further extends the um, bootstrap um, variables. So things like the height and width. So instead of writing down specific pixel size for specific things, you don't have to do that. All you have to do is just put in like, um, like a, a W dash and something, a W dash and then something pixel, and then you get the, the width for that uh, element. So in here, you can just go ahead and browse through, take all these uh, different icon sizes. This is um, for SVG icon sizes, uh, different RAMs and whatnot. These are uh, symbol sizes. So you can just browse through all this and see um, what are metrics variables that you can use to overwrite your own things within your project. Uh, one thing that we have to mention within the bootstrap, um, bootstrap variables is all this he listed here are all marked as default. Whoops. Uh, all this here are marked as default. So if you want to overwrite any of these variables or any of the uh, any of these variables, uh, what you need to do is um, you can actually use our variables demo. So this is a file specifically made for you guys to customize the variables within Metronic so that it doesn't really um, take over or um, screw up or maybe accidentally create conflicts within your project. So what you could do is they set, say if you want to have a different secondary color, like say say secondary color, you don't want it to be gray 300, you want to be a custom color. So what you do is you can actually just go into Bootstrap, copy the variable like so, put it in here and then put your color in it. Say you want it to be red, um, maybe you can read this, I think, this, yeah. And down your secondary color when you run, when you compile uh, this via Webpack or Gulp, um, your secondary color will now be red. So the demo, uh, so just to recap, bootstrap variables are mainly Metroid variables made to overwrite bootstrap variables. And custom is Metroid custom variables made specifically for Metronic classes and the demo is mainly for you guys to put in any custom variables that you want to overwrite any of our bootstrap or custom. So for example, like if you want to overwrite the sizing, like um, let's say the icon size, like you don't want um, SS to be um, 0.5 REM, you want it to be 0.6, you can actually just copy the entire thing, put it into the demo, and then change this to say 0.6, something like that. Right, so this is the components. Then next comes our layout. Now our layout is mainly for um it's mainly for our, for each demo. So each demo will have its own layout. So to show you guys what we mean by that is if you look into our demos. Every demo has a different layout style. For example, demo one has an aside, a header, and maybe a subheader. But demo two doesn't have an aside menu. It only has a top header. And, aside, uh, and demo three has, uh, has two types of sides. You have an aside, a minified aside, and then you have a sidebar, and then you have maybe no header. So every demo has different layouts. And how we customize this layout, or how we style this layout, are all within the layout um, folder. So you can go ahead and change, say, the aside, do anything you want here. Let's like say maybe you, you don't want it to be fixed or you don't want it to be um, relative, you want the Z index to be higher and so on and so forth. You can just do anything you want there. And then in the layouts, we also have variables. So what you can do here is uh, you can change the root font size or um, for desktop, tablet, or mobile. So this root font size is where it controls the RAM measurement, the REM measurement within um, CSS. So at the moment, one REM is basically 13 pixels. And 
when it's uh, in tablet mode, one REM becomes 12 pixels. And then the 0 0.5 or the two REM, one point something REM is all based off this pixel value. So if you want to change that, you can go ahead and do that to, to fit your project. And then here we have our hidden config for certain things. So if you have a look into certain, like, you know, a site, you have like a Z index, get uh, a site config and uh, base and index. And you guys will be wondering like, where is this coming from? It's coming from the variables. So how you read that is you read a site config and then base and then Z index. So we can search for the site config is, let's see, somewhere here. So a site config base Z index. So it's going to grab 98 and that's pretty much it. So you can go through it, have, have a read, just have a browse through and see how everything works. Everything is, fu is fully flexible for you guys to do to update and change and customize however you please. And all you need to do once you've done updating it is just save it and then run either Gulp or Webpack, which is an NPM run build to compile it and redeploy your assets. Next comes our pages. Um, some pages will have certain SAS files because it just, um, certain pages re may require uh, further styling to make sure the look and feel fits the exact vision that we're going for. So our like, error pages, um, we have custom stylings for it, like maybe the font size, this doesn't fit any of our variables. So we have um, ex extra, extra large uh, font size for error messages and perhaps login pages and so on and so forth. Next comes our themes. Our themes are mainly primarily for, our themes are primarily for like um, certain uh, light and dark styles within a single demo. At this point of time, only demo one has this option. Demo two does not, or any other demo does not. So what it does is like, for example, in a side dark mode, we have certain stylings, light mode, we have different stylings. And that's pretty much how this works. And then comes our final folder, which is the vendors, which is mainly all of Medtronic's um, included or integrated plugins uh, that have been customized, uh, that has a customized look and feel to fit the Medtronic um, vision. So if you look into like say a Bootstrap Date Picker, so what we're doing here is we are overriding the Date Picker plugin to make sure that it looks exactly as how we want it to be to fit our layout. So this is all of our um, um, plugin SAS files that overrides the default um, um, CSS for that set plugin. So now when you want to create your own style, okay, so you can do it, you can, you can do this a few ways. Uh, once you create a file, you can put your SAS file anywhere you want. Well, yes, but we recommend you to put it within um, the root of the SAS folder, which is makes it easier for you guys to include. So for example, let's minimize all this and let's say you want to create a new style. You can just go ahead and create a new, say my style or SAS. And then in here you can put, uh, maybe you can create a new custom class for it, say my uh, style. And then for this my style, maybe you wanted to make it bold. and uh, bold, you can put it say bold. And then you can just go ahead and save it. And once it's done, you then need to include it into this, uh, the style.css, uh, style.sus. And what you do is you scroll all the way to the bottom. Basically this file, this includes all of our components. Uh, bootstrap and also the init uh, SAS file at the top here to initialize everything. So this is all the components um, and then all the plugins and then all the layouts. And then what you can do is 
you can say this is my styling or my style and you go ahead and import the style which is my dash style doing the source and there you have it your style is now included all right that wraps this video up so i hope you find this uh, video informative give us a like if you did the next video the next series of videos that we're creating is how you can customize um, your global fonts or uh, global theme colors or even global font size so what i mean by global is you basically are changing the overall uh, font sizes or colors or the font families within your project that's using Metronic. So the next series of videos uh, will be that. So please subscribe to our YouTube channel so that the next time we release the next video, you get an update. Please follow us on our social medias like our Twitter and Facebook. So, um, links will be in the description below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.